so hi Bruce, we're uh, at the Maker Fair in uh, San Mateo, yes. and you're here with your hydroponic garden. That's right. That's right. What I wanted to show people here at Maker Fair was that you could grow vegetables hydroponically, and it's not overly complex. Sometimes when people grow, think of hydroponics, they think it's really complex, expensive, you have to have a lot of expertise, but this is just something that I've learned on my, on my own, and it grows quite well and really quite inexpensively. This system that I made was built from all uh, supplies that you can just get at your local hardware store, so nothing exotic on that. And you get fr fresh vegetables and you get quite a bit of productivity out of it too. Out of this little system which holds 75 plants and it's about two meters square in space, it, it'll produce between uh, uh, seven to 15 heads of lettuce a week in that space. That's quite impressive for being such a compact system. Yes, it does. The other thing about the hydroponics, it uses a lot less water. So, so what, what is hydroponics for the person who doesn't know anything about it? Yeah, in hydroponics, in hydroponics, the plants grow in water. So instead of being in soil, it grows in water. And normally plants would get the nutrients from, uh, as you water the plants, the does the minerals will dissolve in the soil or the fertilizer will dissolve and get to the root system. And instead of hydroponics, you put those nutrients directly in the water and it feeds the system, the roots just directly from there. So it grows with a lot less stress. So the plants aren't searching for water, they aren't searching for nutrients. It's just being sort of hand fed uh, all, all those nutrients to help them grow. So if we take a look at this system, how, how have you gone about building it? And if you would explain this uh, structure that we have here. Yeah, this is a system that I call an A-frame because it's using just standard 2 by 4 uh, wood material to, um, to form a structure on there. And then it uses PVC pipe, so 3-inch pipe. Uh, uh, on there and the water just circulates on there and it's just it's actually I saw a picture of this somewhere on the internet but no instructions so I sort of had to figure out how to build it myself and I put together some instructions on online and perhaps you could put the links up on there we'll absolutely do that yes uh, so tell me about how the function is there's a pump yes so I have a pump which is a it is a fish pond pump that pump uses very little electricity. It uses less than a kilowatt hour a day uh, on there. So, so you would actually be able to solar power this uh, in, in theory. In theory, you could solar yeah. power it. All you need is a pump that could could have enough uh, lift because it needs to bring the water up to about two meters high, and then it's so the water gets pumped up goes circulates throughout the, the system and then just gets recycled at the end and drains it back into the tubs and this gets recycled in the system. So the, this tub system that I have right now would probably be need to get after two weeks you probably have to fill it up halfway so it doesn't use very much water at all. Okay, so you, so the the sort of um, rate of uh, water usage and, and nutrients is like you attend to the water about once every other week. Yeah, well, um, you want to check it probably, you know, every couple of days just to make sure there's no leaks or nothing gets clogged or that. But in general, yeah, the maintenance is very 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 low. You can just let it go. I mean, most of the maintenance is harvesting the plants because you want to see your plants, and when something's ready to eat, you want to just grab a head of lettuce for a salad yeah. that day. So what type of plants would work well to produce in a hydroponic system such as yeah, this? Yeah, in this system you could grow a wide variety of plants. In this system it's something with a sort of a small root structure. So yeah. leafy vegetables tend to work well. So as you can see what I have here, I have a whole variety of lettuces. I have some uh, basil on there, arugula, kale, uh, Swiss chard, cilantro uh, uh, on there. Uh, so you could grow a, a whole bunch of different leafy greens and part of the fun is you just experiment and you could try it's amazing when you look at different lettuces you go to a seed catalog and you, there's it's not just butter lettuce but there's you know a dozen different varieties of butter lettuce mm. so you just try out different uh, varieties and say what do you like what what tastes good what looks good and what grows well well thank you so much for introducing us to the hydroponics Bruce great thanks very much Carl